Serwin, as I was saying, of course, is out suspended. In the shake-up, Ferguson pairs David May with Ronnie Johnson in central defence, with Phil Neville on the left, and up front starts with Andy Cole and Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. He has Dwight York and Teddy Sheringham, not a bad pairing in reserve on the bench. Keane and Paul Scholes, both banned from the Champions League final, were always certainties today, so does David Beckham. And Ryan Giggs also plays. We had wondered if he might have been held back for the European final. And no doubt, of course, over the choice in goal, Peter Schmeichel, his fourth and last FA Cup final. Ray, how do you see them lining up here? Well, we expect them to try and trust his 4-4-2. Obviously, Keane and Scholes, vital in the middle of the field there, because that will be some battle. And it'll be a very interesting battle with Ryan Giggs and Andy Griffin, uh, the right back for Newcastle United. So I'm looking forward to that one. Let's look at Newcastle's side now. The big dilemma facing Rude Hillard, of course, was whether or not to gamble on Duncan Ferguson, who goes into hospital for a hernia operation on Monday. The answer, well, it's half and half, really. Not in the starting eleven, but on the bench, ready to be thrown on. Meantime, the German, Timothy Kitzbayer, begins as Alan Shearer's partner. The other question marks concern the uh, central defence. Laurent Chavez is fit to start there. And this Ray is how they're going to form. form up. Well, again, it'll be a 4-4-2 situation. It'll be very interesting to see how Laurent Chauvet plays because he's very, very short of uh, match practice. And, of course, gets Bayer and Alan Shearer up the front. We know what Alan Shearer is capable of. Gets Bayer on his day is equally effective, but sometimes has off days. But if those two are on form, then certainly they'll test David May and Ronnie Janssen in the Man United central defense, defensive areas. Only five of that team incidentally started against Arsenal. 31 matches now since Manchester United were last beaten. Only three Premier League defeats all season. Their form has been simply awesome. In their three-pronged assault on the major honours. In contrast, Newcastle under Ruud Hullet have had really only the FA Cup on which to focus. And they won't take too much comfort from their run into the final. They won only one of the last ten and none since the semi-final win over Spurs. The form book sides with Manchester United, the league champions. But so often through the years, this grand old competition has defied logic. Remember Wimbledon in 88, Sunderland in 73. The first ever FA Cup final between two Uniteds. And remember, it has to be settled today. For the first time, there will be no replays. Alex Ferguson hoping there won't be even a need for extra time. But Brutal, it will have other ideas. And he will certainly have his tactics right. He hopes anyway in his mind. Hoping they can be relayed to the pitch, which is in per December. The league champions going for best of a third double. No one has ever done it before. Andy Cole, good play by him. Here's Sheringham. That was deeply dark too, and it scores. Starting it on to Sheringham! Oh, what an entrance from Teddy Sheringham! He's only been on the field a couple of minutes. That is some impact. Well, Sheringham started it, Andy finished it, and it was a, a tremendous move. Uh, it actually went through Steve Harper's legs in the end as he came out, but, I mean, it was all... Teddy Sheringham showed composure on the ball, always knew what it was. Good play by Cole in the first place. I'm not sure that was meant for Teddy Sheringham, but a wonderful touch. Ball lined up, and I'm not sure that Steve Harper really should have come there. But just watch here as a delightful ball from Paul Scholes. Harper comes through his legs. Um, I think Harper possibly just showed his inexperience rushing out there, and the defender possibly might have dealt with it better. He is a player of such outstanding instinct, and he has underlined that again. Teddy Sheringham on 11 minutes. Here today, because every time the ball's come around him, he seems to be falling over, slipping over, stumbling over. Uh, because to be fair, he's had two or three little openings if he could have sorted his feet out, and we know he's capable of it. But uh, if he could have sorted his feet out, it could have caused United some damage. And his enthusiasm in this first half, like all Newcastle players, been relentless really, but they will go in a goal down. Thanks to the strike from Teddy Sheringham, was beautifully created, beautifully taken. Only a couple of minutes after he had been replaced, or yet replaced, Roy Keane, who now lips away to the dressing rooms. Pull it for the task of reigniting his team's challenge in the second half. This is why Keane was unable to continue. It was Gary Speed who caught him. On came Sheringham. The attempt to ask why they didn't start with Ferguson, but he isn't fully fit, remember that. Here's Giggs now looking to show his acceleration. 
is Atlas. Quick to his defensive method. Not the best appearances, though. Put his teammates in trouble. That's showing up. The score! An aberration by Dabizas, and it's gifted a second goal for United. Scores. The master goal poacher strikes again. Well, it was just as, you, as Newcastle started to take a little bit of control, but it's terrible play from Davies as there. And then it's a wonderful layoff yet again by Teddy Sheringham. And how many times have we seen Paul Scholl score goals from, from that sort of area? Bags of space, keeps it low, drills it past half, but gives him no real chance. But it was in the corner where the mistake was made. It was a ball really, there was no problem whatsoever. Davies could have played it to safety and they could have got reorganised. But he played the ball back into midfield, and there we see the final, what happened from the end of it. The alertness of Solskjaer, the intelligence of showing up, and the clinical finishing of Paul Scholes. 2-0, Manchester United. Ten goals, shot scores. Happy to play out time now with Manchester United so close to the double. Neville with a throw. In stoppage time. And that'll be a goal kick to Newcastle. We came here with real hopes of upsetting Ferguson's team. They felt they were in the real chance. It hasn't proved to be their afternoon for the second year running. And they're going to fall to relax, a fall to smile now. And one more big occasion still to come. A magnificent season has been for Manchester United. It's two down and one to go. United chasing a unique treble at home and in Europe have completed the League and Cup double for the third time. The first team ever to do so. First in 94, then 96, and now in the last FA Cup final of the previous set through, they have added success here at Wembley to the league title. The celebrations are on the way. The Newcastle, well, it's another disappointment. Beaten last year by Arsenal, now Manchester United have proved too strong as well. Much better showing from Newcastle this year. At least they can take comfort from that. But it's another marvellous day for Alex Ferguson's team. I hope the success story simply goes rolling on. The 10th FA Cup win. The fourth time they won it in the night is alone. And now they'll be setting their sights on Bayern Munich in Barcelona and the Champions League final on Wednesday night. Sheringham, whose goal paved the way for victory after he'd come on as a substitute for Roy Keane injured early on. Good for it knows his team today, Ray Clements, simply weren't good enough. No, unfortunately, they were the second best group, 90% of the game, particularly in the second half. Once the second goal went in, then it was a magnificent performance by uh, Manchester United. Just saw a nice moment on the pitch there. Finished Michael, who wore the captain's armband when Roy Keane went off. He went over to Roy Keane, took his armband off, and put it back onto Roy Keane's arm, because he's the one who's going to go up and pick up that cup. But a tremendous performance, well-deserved by United, and one which will give them fantastic confidence in what we all hope is a successful night on Wednesday in Barcelona. Four FA Cup final wins as a manager for Alex Ferguson. No one has managed that before in the history of the English game. And many, many people will be wishing them well on Wednesday night. I think there has been a feeling that United have their detractors. People don't want them to win things around the country. But there was a poll in the national newspaper today that 86% those who voted do want the win on Wednesday night. And we'll go there with our best wishes. And certainly a good heart. On this terrific display today. Winners over Newcastle by two goals to nil. A strong lad, and it's just as well because he's going to have to do his trophies. <laughs> there he goes. The FA Cup. You do, I think he said that. Lovely moment. Unfortunately for Manchester United, that's the end of Roy's season. And um, so the boys will, you know, after a few things.